Quadriporticus in the south of the city. This sprawling building has long been thought of as a gladiator barracks, and that's still what many tourists are told when they visit Pompeii. Professor Eric Paler from the University of Massachusetts has been working this site for almost 20 years. For some time, he's had his doubts about the real use of the Quadriporticus. Over our four years of research, there have been a lot of clues that this building has not been used as a gladiator barracks. And not least among these is the fact that the building is elegantly constructed and decorated, including the remnants of fine wall paintings, even in the latrine. Now Eric's turning to new technology to help in his search for the truth about this building. As Eric traces his tablet across the entire surface of the building, he gets a complete picture, not just of what he can see, but also what he can't. What we're seeing here is this hole here in the wall, which actually is a major sewer of the city. And you begin to see the scanner moving down the corridor, picking up more and more of the space. The scanner plots the line of the sewer, giving Eric vital information about how the infrastructure here has been built. But crucially, without having to excavate. There it is. Let me fill the holes. It's going to use the processor of the, of the tablet to find any gaps that I've missed that are just small or were little areas that were behind a rock. And now I can zoom around in the space of this wall and show you the x-ray view. And now we're back behind the wall and that is where that sewer is, right here. The structure scanner is documenting how the sewer changes its path in order to accommodate the latrine. The addition of this new room and its position within the building helps Eric prove his theory that this was not meant for gladiators. Coupled with the quality of the decoration discovered previously, Eric believes this place was simply too elaborate for a group of fighters. Pompeians went to a lot of trouble to renovate this building in a grand style in the years just before the eruption. The addition of a latrine, together with the rest of the architecture, makes it clear that this was going to be a public space, likely a market building. 